if you're curious as to how you can move files to your newly created private space on Android, then I can show you an easy way to do that here in today's video. Now, Android 15 has a new feature called Private Space that allows you to set up a secondary profile and lock it away behind a pin, pattern, or password that's different from your lock screen. If you aren't familiar with this or how to set it up, then I'll be sure to link to a introductory video that I've already done down in the video description below. And I'll have that linked in the pinned comment as well so that it's easier for everyone to find. Once you have the private space set up on Android, you'll want to go ahead and unlock it and then tap on the install button to open up the Google Play Store. I have found the easiest way to copy files to the private space is with a File Explorer app. Now I did try my File Explorer of choice, which is Solid Explorer, but I ended up getting an error message when trying to use that application. Now, if you are just wanting to copy image files, then you could use the Files by Google app, and that's it. As that app can easily share photos to the Files by Google app just fine. But I was looking for a way to transfer any file, and I ended up needing to install an application called CX File Explorer. This is free from the Google Play Store, so I'll be sure to have this linked down below as well. Although it's probably best to unlock your private space, tap on that install button, and then just do a search for CX File Explorer. You'll see the app icon appear within your private space when it has been installed properly. When you are ready to move over some files, we can do that with the Files by Google application. Again, I tried to do this with my go-to file manager of choice, Solid Explorer. However, it didn't offer the private tab option that we need. But thankfully, you should be able to install the Files by Google app from the Google Play Store if it isn't already pre-installed on your smartphone or tablet. So with the Files by Google app open, we're going to find the files that you want to copy, and then we're going to perform a long press gesture on the files to select them. Now you could do this a single file at a time, or we can do it all at once. So with your files selected, we're going to tap on the share icon, and then you're going to want to look for the private tab down here in the share menu. So once we tap on that private share, we can see the list of apps that we can choose to share those files to. And you're going to see that CX File Explorer app in this list. So let's go ahead and select that as a target. And now it's asking you where you want to save those files to. We're just going to send them to the regular downloads folder to keep things simple. So once we have selected that folder, we're going to tap on the Save button down here in the bottom tab. Now, as you saw, you're going to see the transfer progress on the screen, and then those files will appear in your CX File Explorer app. So now these files are accessible via the private space. And we can either check that again from CX File Explorer or any other application that is installed to our private space. Now to me, it's clear that this initial version of private space for Android 15 is in its early phase. I would think that Google would have had a better method of transferring files here, but this is one of the easiest methods that I've been able to find. Now you could set up an FTP server either on the device 
or on your computer, and then connect it from your private space to transfer those files over. However, the method that I showed you here today seems to be the easiest way forward. The only real requirement here is that you must have your private space unlocked in order to share files to it. But once those files have been copied, you can then relock your private space as you normally would. I suspect that there will be other file explorer apps that work with this method and that it is not limited to the CX file explorer. So if you know of others, then be sure to share them down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.